MetaMask's new terms goes viral as it can withhold consumer funds to pay taxes. If you don't know and you're a MetaMask user, maybe you haven't opened the app in a little while, there are new terms and conditions. Of course, nobody reads those, right? You just scroll to the bottom and, yep, sign here, click to agree. But we've got to dive into what these actually say because they affect every single person out there who uses MetaMask. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Zach. If it's your first time dropping in, appreciate you guys as always. If you're coming back to the channel, make sure you guys hit, are hitting that subscribe button down below. And uh, let's dive in because MetaMask has been going through some interesting updates as of late. They've actually changed their terms and conditions a few different times here uh, in recent months. Now, MetaMask's new terms of uh, and conditions are going viral as it confuses and surprises the crypto community. If you don't pay taxes, MetaMask's uh, MetaMask reserves the right to withhold it from your MetaMask wallet for the tax departments. Now, obviously, they're getting pressure, and I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing per se, uh, but it's something we need to be aware of. MetaMask and Consensus now face backlash for withholding consumer funds for paying taxes, which is against decentralization and financial freedom. But depending on where you live in the world, it's the law. So MetaMask updated terms face backlash from the crypto community. Here's what people are saying. According to the new terms of service by MetaMask developer consensus, fees payable by consumers are, quote, exclusive taxes unless otherwise noted. We reserve the right to withhold taxes where required. One Inch co-founder earlier raised questions on the new MetaMask's uh, terms, stating that MetaMask holds the right to withhold taxes. Explain to me the new MetaMask 4.6 taxes. Each party will be responsible as required under applicable law for identifying and paying all taxes and other governmental fees and charges. We reserve the right to withhold taxes where required. So decentralization is obviously dying in a lot of ways, depending on where you are in the world, right? It's a primary principle of crypto, but in order for us to really take the next big step, many people believe that decentralization has to take a step back and centralized authorities will step in whether we like it or not. And on one hand, take away from decentralization. On the other, could take crypto to completely new heights. And I think that's where that double-edged sword comes in. Now, some even linked it to uh, the MetaMask issue to the ledger controversy as well, saying the back door is for paying taxes and meeting other requirements as per government's rules and laws. But here's what it says right here. Uh, 4.3 taxes. Each party will be responsible as required under applicable law for identifying and paying all taxes and other governmental fees and charges and any penalties, interest and other additional thereto that are imposed on that party upon or with respect to the transactions and payments under this agreement. All fees payable by you are exclusive taxes unless otherwise noted. We reserve the right to withhold taxes where required. So this is interesting to note for sure. And uh, if you pay your taxes and you do it by the book, you're good. This is why personally I pay somebody to run all my taxes on the crypto side. I have somebody on the traditional side that eventually handles my complete taxes, but I have personally a business manager who uh, one of his biggest jobs are to do exactly this. He goes through all of my wallets. He creates a different spreadsheet for every asset that I've ever owned. And every time I transact with that asset, it's documented on a spreadsheet. So maybe that's something you could do. Obviously, there are some trackers out there like Coin Tracker and things like that. But I would definitely take this serious, especially if you're in the United States. MetaMask is not playing around here. They have not released any clarifications regarding the crypto community confusion. In December, consensus faced backlash reading its data collection practices. That was one of those other updates. It shared users' transaction data alongside their IP addresses with its other product, Infura. MetaMask later updated the MetaMask wallet in response to that previous backlash. But I don't think they're going to respond to this or take this back. I think this is something that is here to stay. And it's just part of the future of crypto, at least here in the United States. Play by the rules or else. Let me know what you guys are talking about or thinking about down below in the comment section. We'll see you in the next one.